Right, as we've seen earlier, we had hundreds all the way across at the moment. We've dropped to 99 and remove on use CSS when they render blocking resources. So it seems the remove on use JavaScript is not on this one at the moment, but we'll see. So, what we'll do now, we'll go in as we've got 100 on SEO. Look, so we know how to get that. We just activate Yoast, give it a meta description and a snippet. And that does that. So to give Elementor a fair play, I'm going to deactivate yours and we'll see how quickly web dev does update because it should drop to 92. Unless it's sort of like bedded in anyway in some sort of RAM or whatever and it still picks it up, we'll see. Yeah, 92. So we see that straight away taking effect there. So now we'll look at us. So looking at media library, do we have anything? We have no pictures whatsoever. When we go to pages, we've got Compliance Cloud front page, and as we've just seen with plugins, we've got two active at the moment. So, without further ado, we'll go and add Elementor, and then what we'll do is we'll add an image. Well, no, we'll activate it first, and we'll do a test just from activating it and see if just the installation and activation of Elementor does because like we said earlier this drops to 92 and we had a couple of other issues down here which we don't seem to have any at the moment that's a bit odd because we were there a minute ago and let's see are we activated welcome to elementor that's all right buddy i don't need a video updates what we got here elementor perhaps no 2020 plugins themes Update theme. I'm not going to mix now. In my looking middle of the video, it'll all crash, so we'll stick with the theme as it is. We can see that Elementor is indeed in and active. So let's do another audit. And as we see on this last one, it's marked us down but give us no reason. So I think maybe WebDev had a little conflict with itself in this one. Right, so that's done its thing, look, it's gone through and nothing has changed whatsoever. We've got our SEO there, which has come up, which we know. So it'll do. We'll activate Yoast and see if the pair of them running in conjunction have any sort of negative effect. Like, so, uh, like we can see, we've got three issues, but this one should now disappear. Let's have a look at GT metrics as well, because this was showing 99 and 96 earlier. Look, where is it 99 and 96? Well, we'll see if we click on here, won't we? Wrong one, Barnard, back there, sorry. There we go, what we're showing earlier, 98 and 86. This is the one, 98, 86. So let's retest it now. Let's have a look here. Oh, look at this, right. Elementor, Yoast, look what you just done, buddies. You brought us up to 100, 100, 100, 100. So, again, with this combination of plugins at the moment, you cannot get a better web dev result. And as we see, a 9786, not really bothered about Yahoo, to be fair. Page speed, as anybody who knows this, that's Google's one. Let's have a quick look at page speed insights and see what we've got going on there. But this here, this is a, the third time ever. I've done about 100 installs and luckily for me, twice today, live on video. Look, June 9, 12, 12.32, look, zero, zero. I've had it occur again, which is just epic. And this is why when we structure this compliance cloud with the HSC and G Suite and web apps and everything, you're pretty much going to struggle to find a better system in the world. That's a fact. And like I said, we scores like this as a starting canvas. So now, you know, we've got Elementor active. We've got Yoast active. We've got 100% scores. On, oh my word, look at that. Where do you see these sort of scores? Come on, where else, where else do you see these sort of scores? 
So when we start building with Elementor, if we keep the page light, we offload as media. Like if we start having a look at lesson 12 in my, well, I'm doing a GCP bite size one, so you can just have one lesson each thing. So you get through 12 lessons and you, you get things like this. And, you know, come on, Elementor. High praise for you, this in it. So if anybody ever starts mourning on in the groups at Elementor and Yoast and that, Oh, there's such heavy plugins that kill your website. It's not the plugin that kills your website. It's your lack of knowledge of how to use a plugin that kills a website. As always, any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them. And stay safe. Regards from Ramsgate, United Kingdom.